Oh my gosh, you guys, Johan's getting crowned. I'm also going to have Kimberly flirt with him a little bit more. This is the thing, this is gonna happen. <gasps> you guys, I love this so much. <laughs> Hey, Melon Rainbows, and welcome back to another episode of The Royal Family. Before we begin, I just wanna let you guys know, videos are probably going to be slow this week. I have a film shoot this Saturday that I have to memorize like 20 pages of lines for in like a week. So I probably will not be posting a video between now and then. If I magically and miraculously somehow memorize all the lines by then, I definitely will. But if not, I probably won't be posting a video till like Sunday or Monday. So just wanted to let you guys know that. In this episode, we are doing the coronation ceremony for King Johan from Brindleton Bay. So we'll be doing that in this episode and I'll get to show you guys a few other things. And then I also want to have Kimberly and Makai, or not, oh God, no, not Makai, Makana. Kimberly and Makana, I want them to go on a date because you guys saw in the debutante episode, the last episode that they were being a little flirty. So we'll get to talk about some other stuff from the last episode as well. But yeah, so we're doing the coronation ceremony for Brindleton Bay. So as I see it, some time has passed since the last episode. So like I would say a few weeks at least. And the Brindleton Bay royal family, they have already been been through the morning, as I mentioned in, I think two episodes ago, they already had the funeral for King Jared. I just didn't want to show it because it would be really, really sad. So I didn't want to show it, but they had the funeral for him. They were mourning, they were all wearing black and now we're into coronation ceremony mode. So I see it as being a few months after King Jared has passed away. So this is going to be kind of exciting because I have an animation that's going to actually make it look like he's being being coordinated, which is really, really cool. So this is thanks to one of my patrons and she's a moderator on my Discord group and kind of a moderator on my YouTube channel as well because she answers your guys' comments a lot too, but her name is Ashley. And the animation that she made is not published yet because she's still actually working on some stuff, but it's usable for me. So I think by the time we do Amira's coronation, she should already have it out, but her Tumblr is Fandom Angel and as soon as she's done with that, I'll definitely let you guys know so you can download the animation if you would like to. I will definitely make sure I do a video where I show you guys how I use animations in the future. It's very similar to how I did the how to make your own family portraits video because the animations and poses are all like the same thing. Like they're done the same way pretty much. There's a few differences with animations, but I'll definitely cover that in a future video. But we've already started the, or I've already started the coronation ceremony. I've already already had everyone be invited. I'm paused right now because I was doing something right before this because it took me a really long time. So can we just appreciate this? Because it took me like 45 minutes to get everybody around to stand and then they're like getting ready to do the coordination thing right now. So I'll explain some things first. So I also realized that when I am doing my series and my videos, I don't always recognize the fact that a lot of you guys might not have seen season one. So I apologize if I just like go over things and like forget to explain some things. So Brindleton Bay was founded by King Jared, the late King, King Jared and Queen Nina because King Jared wanted to marry Queen Nina, but Nina, she was a commoner and she was poor and King Jared was supposed to be the heir to the throne of Oasis Springs, but his parents wouldn't let him marry her. So he ran away with her and they eloped and with the help of his uncle, King George of Windenburg, who was King Henry's father, or King Henry IV's father, they founded Brindleton Bay and they made a new kingdom. So as you guys can tell from our other kingdoms, they're all loosely based off of other cultures. Brindleton Bay doesn't have a specific culture just because King Jared is from Oasis Springs. And Nina, she's, her family was Hispanic, but I mean, that's never been a prominent thing. I would love to have a Spanish kingdom. So maybe King Johan would want to start implementing some things and learning some things about his Spanish heritage from his mother, but I mean, we'll get into that later. But therefore, for the coronation ceremony, for Amira's, it's probably going to be a priest that is going to coronate her or that's going to crown her. But 
for Brindleton Bay and as you guys saw for Willow Creek, it was the Dowager Queen or the Queen Mother. So Cora, Queen Dowager Cora, she was the one who crowned her son, King Louis. And then now Queen Nina is going to be the one to crown her son, King Johan. This is also because Johan is the monarch and Sadira is not the monarch. Someone might have to explain to me how that works. I watched the crown and for the crown, Queen Elizabeth II, she had her own coronation ceremony, but then her husband didn't have the same coronation ceremony with her, but he wasn't called a prince until a lot later, like years later, and then he had his own ceremony for that. So I'm gonna have this be Johan's coronation ceremony, but she will be Queen Sadira, and uh, he will be obviously King Johan. He's already King Johan, this is just the ceremony part of it. Yeah, I just wanted to explain that. I hope that helped a little bit. Again, my game is like made up, and I kind of just take different aspects of things that I like that seem to work with our game. This animation itself is only for one person, so that's why I'm not gonna do them both. But maybe by the time Amira's coronation ceremony is, we'll figure it out. But that hopefully won't be for a while. We do have King Henry IV here, but I'll talk about that later. So we're actually going to start the coronation ceremony, so you you guys can watch this. You guys can just see everybody watching and it's really, really cool. It doesn't actually look like anyone's looking at Johan, but it's fine. Okay, so Nina is the one who's going to be crowning her son. This is so exciting, you guys. This is like a whole new thing happening. Like there's all these new monarchs that are happening. It's like definitely exciting and sad at the same time. Oh my gosh, you guys, Johan's getting crowned. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love this, this animation looks awesome. Okay, you guys. Johan has now been crowned the king of Brindleton Bay. Oh, I also have to say thank you so much to Bats from Westeros for turning this crown that he's wearing into the held crown that Nina was using as well, because that was just like super helpful. I reached out to him to see if they could do that, and he did in like, oh my gosh, like the next day, it was so soon. I was so happy. So thank you so much, Bats. I really appreciate it. Okay, so Johan has now been coronated, and people are celebrating. I think some people are still stuck in their post so I have to get them out of that. But you guys will get to see everyone who is here too because I did invite a lot of people. Oh, okay, so I did realize that Valen Francisco's daughter, Ariana, she wasn't at the debutante ball. I realized that. So I had invited her and she just didn't show up, but I didn't actually realize that at the debutante ball. So hopefully we will get to pay attention to her soon. I will definitely make sure that we do. But the coronation ceremony is now over. So we have King Johan. It's official. He is now the king of Brindleton Bay. I do need to start a crypt in this castle because I have one for Windenburg, but this is such a new royal family. So the only urn that we have is King Jared. So I need to make sure that we definitely do that. Then we have a lot of the Willow Creek royal family kids here because the Willow Creek royal family is pretty close with this family. And the Oasis Springs royal family is two because King Johan's cousin is Queen Nea and the rest of her siblings. However, I did not exactly have enough room to invite everybody. I didn't invite a lot of the kids. I mostly invited the adults to the coronation ceremony. We always focus on the kids. So that's why I thought it'd be nice to focus on the older generation. But we have Prince James. He's also here. So this is Prince Johan's younger brother. And then I'm pretty sure Lord Ian, his husband is also here somewhere. And then I just saw, oh yeah, there is Lord Ian. That is Prince James's husband. And we have Prince Cullen here too. And then we have King King Henry here. So King Henry is starting to do a little bit better. He is back up on his feet, so that is good. I know that he doesn't have that much time though, you guys. He definitely doesn't. We're gonna have to see. I just think he needs to take it easy. I think that's what the doctor told him to do. I think Amira is still taking over some of his responsibilities, but he is at least able to still help out more and now teach her things and mentor her too, because she's actually doing some hands-on responsibilities now. Oh, and then Molly Grace, Where'd she go? But this is Princess Molly Grace. So she's super cute. She's now aged up into a child. I feel like with her, so I did get some new personality traits and such. So for her, her trait is laid back, which I thought was kind of cool. So she's very laid back and kind of just goes with the flow. I feel like her and Frederick, Prince Frederick, I think that Prince Frederick is a very protective brother. So I do think that they're very close. I think he's going to be very overprotective for anyone that she dates. People keep like disappearing and stuff. I don't know what's happening. There are so many glitches happening. Like arms are all the way up here. People keep disappearing. People are like walking through stairs and stuff. There's still not enough seats for everybody here. Oh man, I 
would really want to do like a royal banquet room. I think that would be really cool. Yeah, there's still a lot of work that I need to do this palace. But I mean, this palace is still up on my gallery. This one is actually the one in my gallery that doesn't have any custom content. But you can find my gallery ID in the description below. And we also have Amira here. And then Jabari is here. Alice May is not here because again, I didn't really invite any of the kids. I'm still going to wait a little bit for them to have another kid. I'm going to wait until she's like either almost a child or a child. I did see some people wanting Princess Belle and Prince Francisco to have another baby and also Kellen and Megan. I don't think either of them are going to have another baby. I'll just let you guys know that now. I'm trying to like <laughs> lower the population a little bit, you guys, because there's just way too many Sims. And I keep getting requests for like other kingdoms and I'm not doing that anytime soon. But if there's any chance of me doing that in the future, I think I need to lower the population a little bit. I'm not going to do like a war or like a mass killing or anything like that. I'm just going to wait for some people to grow older and have some families have less kids, have some families who don't have any kids or get married at all too. And then maybe we can have another kingdom in the future. But I'm just like, my game just glitches sometimes and I'm worried about it glitching even more if we add more Sims. So that's just why. And then you guys also for my Create a Sim Makeover video, the last video saw that I gave makeovers to Juliet and Elena. Actually, this is the same outfit that Elena was wearing for the debutante ball, but Juliet's is different at least. I gave them different hair because, so Juliet has longer hair now and Elena has a little bit like medium length hair just because it was so hard to tell the difference between them. So I gave this hairstyle to Juliet and it's so, so beautiful. This is like my favorite hairstyle ever. So before we have a Kimberly and McCarthy, Hana, go on a date. I do want to just address some of the comments from the last episode. It was a big episode and I'm so glad you guys liked it too. A lot of people really love Arya and Gabriel, which I, I'm so happy about you guys. If anyone wants to comment about Arya and Gabriel ever, cause they're my favorite couple. I don't know what it is about them, but right now they're like my favorite couple and I'm obsessed with them. So like, please say good things about them. So a lot of people were leaning more towards Araminta and Han being being together as opposed to Araminta and Charles, although there is still a few people who ship Araminta and Charles. As I mentioned, a little bit of time has passed since the last episode. So with Han and Araminta, they haven't talked since the Debbie Tom ball, but I feel like Han hasn't been able to stop thinking about her. And I feel like he keeps like drafting a text or about to dial her number and then just never ends up sending anything because he's so nervous to send anything. This is, we're like in modern times now, so they are definitely using their cell phones. As you guys have seen. I can't stop them from using their cell phones. But yeah, I just feel like Han can't stop thinking about her. And then with Charles, so I'm gonna get a mod because Charles, I believe, has started counseling. So I think that Bellatrix told Amira what was going on with Charles. I think that they all had a talk with Charles and wanted him to get help. And now he's starting counseling. And I'm pretty sure there's a mod out there that lets you do that. So I definitely want to do that with Charles. So he's gonna be getting help because I know a lot of people were saying that he needs to get help and I completely agree. A lot of people really love Samaria and Bellatrix to Together, which I'm glad. I also noticed in the last episode, there were bats on Bellatrix's wallpaper and I never realized that before. So I just picked the wallpaper cause it was purple and I thought it was like vines and leaves. And then I noticed that there were bats on it and I was like, oh, just pretend those weren't there. She wouldn't have bats on her wallpaper. Just pretend it was purple and I will change the wallpaper. I think that was most of the comments. There was a lot of comments on the last video. So I apologize if I miss any, I try to go through them as much as I can, but I'm glad you guys really liked the last episode. I love the debutante ball. Oh God. Oh, Okay, Prince Philip has spots. I need to get rid of that. All right, I'm actually going to end this now because it is 11 a.m. and they've been partying all night. So now we have King Johan. He's been coronated. He is the king of Brindleton Bay. And then we have Queen Sadira too. But now I am going to go to Save and Manage Worlds because I'm going to have Kimberly ask Makana out on a date. I want it to be Kimberly asking him out on a date because I do feel like since Makana still has a little bit of feelings for Bellatrix, he wouldn't have immediately thought to ask Kimberly out on a date. But I think Kimberly's a lot more like cut the crap. She doesn't like playing games in relationships. She's just very upfront and she just says, hey, like, do you want to go out and do something and have fun or something like that? But I think they're going to go out on a date in Sulani. All right. So we are now in Oasis Spring. So Arya and Gabriel, they're still sneaking around. And then Manuel is still really cute with Juliet. So him and Juliet were the ones who were still dancing in the last episode, even though there was a fight going 
going on. So I think that we'll focus on them in the future as well, but we have to just focus on the older generation or at least like the older ones of the teenagers first and then we'll get to the younger ones. But yes, I do think that Kimberly would have called Makana and asked if he wanted to hang out. I feel like they've been texting a little bit and especially because in the last episode they got along so well because they're both loners and I feel like they just understand each other. There's a beach here, but I know you can't really go on an official date to the beach, so it's not gonna be like an official date. Oh, there's also a bar, but we'll go to the beach. Let's go ahead and invite Makana. There's still a little bit of romantic relationship with Charles just because of when they hooked up. Some people pointed out that maybe Kimberly is just like the person that everyone goes to to talk to because she listens so well. And maybe Charles, that's what he did. He was just talking to her and complaining to her, but then like they just got a little drunk and got a little caught up. I think Kimberly regrets it. Obviously, Charles regrets it just because of it breaking things off with Araminta and hurting her so badly. I feel like Kimberly would have thought about apologizing to Araminta. I don't think she has yet because maybe she just hasn't gotten the chance to, but I feel like if she sees her in public, I think that Kimberly would want to apologize to Araminta. I just think she's a good person, I do. I think that she just is a loner. Like she just doesn't like big crowds. I don't think that means she's not good with people. So this is just like a little hangout. Let's have them build a sand sculpture together. I think that's really cute. So with Makana and Bellatrix. So because Samaria and Bellatrix, they didn't want to tell Makana about their relationship because Samaria is really close with her twin brother and Bellatrix is also really close with Makana. Some people had said like Bellatrix can't help who she likes and that's true. I think that, I don't know, if you really care about someone, like you're really cautious about their feelings and stuff. So that's why I think that they're just being cautious about it. I think they do plan on telling him. They just want to wait a little bit. I think Samaria wants to see if his crush will die down on Bellatrix, which I think it will because him and Kimberly seem to get along really, really well. There's a little bit of a romantic relationship with them. I think that Kimberly is very attracted to Makana. I just think they have a lot in common and they get along really well. I do think everyone knows that they're mermaids. I do think people know that the Solani royal family are mermaids. I was like, oh, we should have him go swim. But I was like, wait, Makana's going to turn into a mermaid. Maybe, oh, oh, you know what? What? Maybe Kimberly is like, hey, I heard about this. Like, that's so cool. I would love to see it happen. Okay, they're high-fiving. Maybe he was like, yeah, okay, I'll show you. Why don't we have them swim around together so Makana can show her his mermaid form? I think that would actually be really, really cool. Oh, okay. Oh, their bathing suits kind of match. Oh my God, you guys, that's really cute. Okay, so now Kimberly's going in the water and Makana is about to turn into a mermaid, or at least he should be. Why is he not a mermaid yet? What is happening? The F Makana, why aren't you turning into a mermaid? I'm gonna add him to our family and see what's going on here so I can actually play from his point of view. You guys, I don't know why Makana will not turn into a freaking mermaid. Is he too nervous to show her his mermaid form? What's going on? You're a mermaid. You're definitely a mermaid. There's no doubt about that. Well, darn, okay. Well, I'm gonna have him hang around here then. I think it's really cute that they're swimming together. I'm also going to have Kimberly flirt with him a little bit more. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like sunset and there's swimming around here together and I actually really, really love this. Ooh, Kimberly's feeling very flirty. Oh, and so is Makana. Wait, no, don't go home. Okay, well, it's getting dark in here, so maybe we should stop swimming. <gasps> maybe they would hang out on this little bungalow area together. That would be so cute. Oh my God, there's a bed on here, you guys. Ugh. I don't think they would go on the bed quite yet. I don't know. Hey, is there anyone over here? Is this a private area? Yes, it is. All right, why don't you guys sit here together, sit and chat together. And then maybe you guys can like cuddle and maybe have your first kiss. I feel bad. I did put a lot of pressure on Makana to be changing into his mermaid form. So maybe he'll do it when he's not feeling as much pressure. Okay, so they are now flirting. I'm gonna have Kimberly flirt with him a lot. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> Look how cute they are. Look how cute they are. I I'm sorry if I'm yelling into the microphone. I love this. I think Kimberly is going to tell Makana that she likes him, that she actually has feelings for him, and that after they had that talk at the debutante ball, like she just realized that she connected with him really well, and now they are here and she's having like a great day, and I think she's telling him like, I think I have feelings for you. I do think Makana has feelings for her too, you guys. They have a pretty big... I don't know if it's big. They have they have a lot of... Whoa, wait, 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 wait. I didn't tell you guys to kiss. 
this? Hold on. Oh, okay. Apparently, they just had their first kiss. Wait, they haven't even had their first kiss yet. They just went over there to go kiss? Um, first kiss. I don't know. Is it a special now? You guys definitely just had a kiss, so I don't think this is considered the first kiss. Okay, now they're having their first kiss. Oh, you guys. I, why, I love this. <gasps> oh, I think Makana likes her too. I think he likes her too. I think he's getting over Bellatrix. I know it's like, would not take this quickly to get over Bellatrix because he's had a crush on her since he was a child. But like, I think that, I think it's, I think it's working. I think it is. This is, this is the thing. This is gonna happen. <gasps> you guys, I love it so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, they had their first kiss. So I'm gonna leave this here, actually. I think this is good. We've had a coronation ceremony and then we have another couple that we can focus on and more that I can take pictures of too. I love taking pictures pictures of the couple so much on my Instagram, you guys. My Instagram's in the description below, by the way, if you're not following me. But oh my god, I'm so excited to take a couple pictures of Makata and Kimberly. They're gonna be so cute. Okay, well, I'm going to end this video here. Let me know what you guys think of Makata and Kimberly and their relationship, because they're so cute. Let me know if you guys liked the coronation ceremony as well. When I have more information about the animation for the coronation ceremony, I will definitely let you guys know for sure. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button. If you have not yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!